Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another chapter based on the precious concrete subject. So that is flexural strength of precious concrete section. So already in the previous lecture, I solved uh, losses of precious. Today I will continue the same subject, but different chapter problem. So see here, uh, this is the simple example based on the flexural strength of the precious concrete section. So for solving these models, we want this type of tables. So I will show that one also. So this table is important to solve the type of model. So this is related to Indian standard 1343-1980. So IS-1343 code week is mandatory for writing, uh, for solving this type of models. Even it will be allowed in our semester and mid examinations also. Okay. See here. Conditions of the ultimate limit state of rectangular beams with pretensioned tendons or with post tension tendons having effective bond. So one will be related to effective bond and second one will be related to the having unbonded tens, uh, tendons that is unbonded tendons. So here it will be given for post tension rectangular beams. For here it will be given both for pretensioning and post tensioning. So the ratio will be one will be given stress in tendons as a proportion of the design strength FPU by 0.87 FP both given pretensioning another will be post tensioning with respect to what AP FP by BD into FCK for this ratio. So similarly here in this table we have to find out the depth of the neutral axis to the centroid of the tendon will be given that is XU by D both for pretensioning and post tensioning. So this table 7.2. So we have both problems um, in our text. So we will solve both the models. So we will cover both the tables. Okay. So we know, for example, if we simplify this uh, value, we will get 0 0.025 means we take the value exactly 1.0. We will get 0 0.05 means we take the value 1.0. Sometimes what happens? Uh, we will get some 0 0.04 like that. At the time, we have to make some interpolation. But here, if you observe very clearly, both will be 1, 1. So even though you will calculate for 0 0.04 also, you will get 1 only. But where you will get some different means, if you observe in the XU by D region. So for 0 0.025, you take 0 0.054. For 0 0.05, you will take 0 0.109. But your, uh, according to the ratio, you will obtain some 0 0.03. At that time, what you have to do, you won't take direct this value. You will make some interpolation. So we will try to cover both the models. If the value coming directly for us means, no need. You can take directly. So you will get some intermediate value means we will solve intermediate value also by doing some interpolation model. So okay. Then go to the question and see. Take down the given data and see what they are given clearly. So a pretensioned precessor concrete beam having a rectangular section that is B equal to 150 mm and wide depth equal to 300 mm as an effective cover cover also given but maybe sometimes it won't be useful in the to solve the model we will see the formula fck will be 40 newton per mm square we know what is fck characteristic compressive strength of concrete and fp is the tensile strength of the concrete so precessor concrete so what is fp characteristic tensile strength of Precessing steel, not concrete. Okay. And what about this AP area of the precessing steel? That is 461 mm square. So, what we have to do? We can calculate the ultimate flexural strength of the section using IS43 code provisions. Now, what we see. Okay. So first what we have to do, according to the table, what we have to do, we can find out this value, APFP by BDFCK. APFP by B into D into FCK. So what is AP? Area of the pre steel, that is 461. FP is the 1600 Newton per mm square. So BDFCK is 150 by 300 fck is 40 newton per mm square 
if you simplify around you will get um, 0.40 something okay so you can take down 0.40 here so if you if your relation will be for apfck uh, ap by apfp by bdfck is 0.40 what you have to do you can check the value for fpu by 0.87 fp so your question is related to pretensioning so you, take, you check down all the three pretensioning values for 0.40 and if some higher value also open you will take 0.9 only so for 0.40 how much it will be 0.9 so take down that one fp ap by sorry fpu by 0.87 so please confirm fpu by 0.87 fp equal to how much it will be 0 0.9 for 0 0.40 so please make it cross check 0 0.40 is 0 0.9 okay so fpu equal to 0 0.9 into 0 0.87 fp so what is fpu here fpu is the tensile stress developed in the tendons at the failure stage of the beam so substitute this value 0 0.9 into 0 0.87 into fp is 1600 newton per mm square if you simplify around how much you will get you will get around 1253 newton per mm square okay then your next one will be x u by d according to the table so x u by d x u by d is for 0 0.40 it will be how much 0 0.783 so simplify this one x u equal to 0 0.783 into depth of the beam 300 so how much you will get around uh, i think 234.9 mm so after opening this one find out the ultimate flexural strength of the section so for that you please remember this formula mu equal to fpu ap d minus 0.42 xu so please remember this formula and substitute the values fpu is how much 1253 ap is 461 d 300 so minus 0 0.42 xu value is 234.9 so if you simplify how much you will get exactly so according after simplifying you will get around this value so please check the value once again and take the correct value okay so this is the obtained value so this is how you can solve this example so this is very very easy and simple to calculate the ultimate flexure strength by using the IS codal provision that is 1345.